You know what they say about sugar and engineering? They both require the perfect solution. And nobody knew that better than Norbert Berlou, the man who revolutionized how we process sugar. New Orleans, 1806. Born to a French plantation owner and an enslaved woman, Berlou lived between two worlds. Imagine being brilliant enough to understand complex engineering at the age of 12, but having people question if you should even be allowed to read that was Norbert's reality. He saw a different future, but first he had to cross an ocean to get the education America denied him. So in French, for the first time, he could just be a scientist. No asterisks, no explanations, just pure brilliance at work. Here's where it gets sweet. Picture this, sugar processing was literally killing people, steam burns, dangerous conditions, inefficient methods, while others saw that's just how it is. He saw a problem to solve. Ever felt like an outsider, right? Looking at a broken system, that's exactly where innovation begins. His multiple effect evaporator wasn't just an invention, it was a revolution. Safer, more efficient, and way more economical. But here's the kicker. Despite his genius, Many American factories refused to credit him or even let him install his own invention. Not because it didn't work, but because of who he was. The same brilliant mind that could solve complex engineering problems still had to navigate a world that questioned his very presence in the field. So what did he do, right? He took his genius to France where he became a celebrated professor and engineer. Sometimes you had to leave the table to build your own. Today, every sugar crystal you've ever tasted was probably processed using Relu's methods. His innovation then just sweetened our food It proved that his genius has no color. When the world tries to put limits on your brilliance, let your work speak louder than their doubts. Innovation sees no color. It only sees solutions. And remember, sometimes the sweetest success is proving doubters wrong.